Okay, uh, here's everything I got today. I'm going to bust this up into two videos. i got to go real quick today. Uh, i got a lot of stuff going on. I think I figured out that maybe I spent $2.99 on everything you see. Um, I'm just going to go through the jewelry, and then the other video I'll go through everything else I, I got today. Um, I don't really know exactly what I spent on the jewelry. I know $75, um, $20-ish. Um, I don't really know. Say I spent uh, over 100 Anyway, um got some wood bangles. I know I got these for 50 cents a piece. We'll sell stuff like this for uh, two or three dollars. Um, this is pretty cool. This we bought early. Uh, I don't see a designer on it, but it's a big kind of plastic and metal piece. I think we can get 15 to 20 for this very easily, even at the flea markets we go to without a designer. Got some smaller lion heads. We might get like eight. Uh, a piece for stuff like this. Then just general pins, three to five dollars. Uh, these owl pins are pretty cool. I paid a buck a piece for these. And we'll probably get three to five dollars. Um, kind of a nice looking embossed uh, pin. Uh, you know, the kind of thing we sell for four, five dollars. Same with this one. I don't see a, a maker on that. Um, this this stuff is n nothing exciting for us. Something like a necklace like this, we may get between eight and twelve dollars. And same for this one, maybe eight to ten dollars. You know, at the flea markets we go to. Um, this I think we bought in a group because my wife wanted one or two pieces. And check this out. This is how it came. The guy was like, "Just give me so much for all of it." And it was actually pretty cheap. I I think it was less than ten dollars. Uh, for this tangled mess. Um, so she pulls a few things out. She, there was one or two things that she was perfectly willing to pay whatever it was for, so um, it's, it's fine there. Uh, this, I think I got a yard sale for f maybe five. This is a, a Kenneth J. Lane piece. I'm not sure what this is worth exactly, but probably 15 or so. Um, here's a grouping of jewelry that she got, and there's some interesting things in here. Like, check this out. This is like an enamel and filigree. Now, I didn't really get a chance to look at this. I don't know if it's silver. I'm imagining it's a white pot metal, but it's still pretty neat, and it looks like it's from the 20s. Uh, not really sure what we'll get for something like that. Depending on how it lays, maybe at the markets I go to, maybe 30 or so. Uh, here's just a nice, big, chunky piece. It says something New York City. I don't, I can't read it right now. This is, without knowing who it is, maybe like an 8 to $12 piece for us. This is sterling, old, at 15 to 20 And stuff like this. This is pretty nice. It's got a little, a little dangle on it. Um, probably $15 $12. And just miscellaneous stuff, like here's a nice bracelet. We could probably sell that for 8 or $10. Uh, here's some more miscellaneous jewelry. These look like big, chunky earrings. And these would probably sell 5 to $8. Um... This is Indian, Native American Indian. It's marked sterling, and it's also marked 925. It has some age. The stone is pretty nice, but it looks like it was dyed. We paid 35 for this, and this is the kind of thing that I'm hoping to sell for between 75 and 125. Um, then we got some more miscellaneous jewelry uh, here. I don't exactly know what we got. Uh, yeah. uh, like a plastic cameo, 8 to 10 is what we sell stuff like this. This stone thing, maybe 8 to 10, black glass necklace. Uh, 8 to 10. An assortment of pins. I don't know, uh, Royal. I mean, you know, just assortment of nice looking designerish pins. Like a necklace like this is $10 maybe for us. Um, and that pretty much covers the jewelry. It, it's nothing of insane value. This is probably the most valuable thing I got today. And I'm, odds are, if I can't 75 for the flea market, I'll just put it on eBay, let it sit for about 125 I'm going to do the perfumes too. Uh, perfumes were cheap. I think I paid 10 or 11 for everything you see here. Uh, I'm not familiar with any. It's Voletta di Parma. I don't know who makes it. This is Friendship Garden. I don't know who makes it. This is Unnamed. Uh, this has some weird sticker. It says Chanel 5, but I don't know. I know. Um, Shalimar Bath Oil Guerlain. Probably not much value. Uh, bouquet, Miracle, this is, I don't know, I'll figure that out later. I recognize that mark, maybe it's a lavender or something. An almost empty Loren, which, you know, maybe the wife will use. Uh, Heaven Sent, Helena Rubenstein. You know, if any, if one of these is worth 20 bucks, um, I'm okay. Alfred Sung Forever, not 
Ensure, Calabresia. I've had Jupe before, and this is probably worth 20 bucks, so that should cover everything. Um, okay, uh, next video will be everything else that I got today.